Windows 10 ameliorated. Now, isn't that an interesting concept? Linus did a video over on Linus Tech Tips about this, but he never actually went over the installation procedure. Plus, that doesn't mean I don't get to try it out. It's no secret that I really enjoy watching his videos, so of course I'm going to take inspiration from a few of them. But in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to install Windows 10 Ameliorated Edition and hopefully attempt to explain roughly what it is. But we're gonna try it out. So stick around and let's see how much faster we can make our computer by installing this version of Windows that is completely cut off from Microsoft. So you guys know this laptop. This is the laptop that we decrapified one video back. And today we're basically going to be decrapifying it even further by installing Windows 10 Ameliorated Edition. Now, Alexa, what is the definition of ameliorate? The verb ameliorate is usually defined as to make or become better, more bearable, or more satisfactory. Improve. There you go. That's exactly what we're doing. We are improving Windows 10 by removing all core Microsoft services. That includes Windows Update. And we're going to be doing this by using Windows 10 Ameliorated. And this might not be a great idea for your main computer for reasons that will become obvious pretty fast, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't be using this on a secondary machine that might be slower. So, by typing in Windows 10 Ameliorated Edition, it is pretty much the very first page that we get to. As you can see, you can either build it yourself or you can actually download it straight from the page right here, which is what we are actually going to do. You will need Telegram for this, but thankfully I have that installed. So if you don't, create yourself an account and you can join it right there. So I'm gonna click view in Telegram. It should open right here. And as you can see, we have Windows 10 Ameliorated Edition and we can download the torrent right here. So I'm gonna download the torrent of Windows 10 Ameliorated Edition 1903. Yes, this is version 1903, but you should actually be able to do this on 1909 if you want to build it yourself. Sure, it'll take a little bit longer, but realistically, if you're doing this on an older machine, which you want to make faster, you're not really gonna care about what version of Windows you're running. Now, what will Windows 10 Ameliorated Edition remove? pretty much everything. Microsoft Edge, the start menu, Cortana, search is going to be a little bit wonky. Explorer.exe is going to be completely different because it's using a version of old Explorer that will make it look slightly more like Windows 7, even though you are actually running Windows 10. It removes activation, surprisingly. If you want the quote unquote legal version of this, you could build it yourself again on top of the current Windows version that you're running with a product key. But yes, this does remove Windows activation, Windows updates, everything to do with Microsoft, everything to stop Microsoft from phoning home. In fact, your computer will think it is not connected to the internet, which might cause some problems with things like Adobe Creative Suite, for example, which I saw over at Linus's video, which will, by the way, be down in the description below. But other than that, you should actually be ready to go. Of course, you're not gonna have have multiple core Windows features, but it should make the computer quite a bit faster. And not only that, your privacy is a lot better. Talking about privacy, what about privacy? No Windows Defender and no Windows security patches. What are we going to do? Apparently most security issues with Windows are to do with the administrator account. And if you yourself are not the administrator, you technically can't get threats. I can't really explain this very well. I think Linus explained it better, so make sure to watch his video. But you also have the website to read the logs for that. Again, I don't really know how to explain it. All I know is that it has something to do with the administrator account and with how Windows handles administration users. That is where most of the security flaws are found and it's pretty much going to be pretty safe. So now you know what it's removing. What are you gaining? Well, removing a lot of the Microsoft core services means you're gaining quite a bit of power. As you saw when we decrapified the laptop, we went from about 85% CPU usage all the way down to 20. Five, and that is with just the decrapifier, and that might be enough for a lot of you, but personally, I wanna go even further. So I am going to install Windows 10 Ameliorated Edition, and we are going to see if we can bring that number down even further, because Linus said in this video that it did feel a lot snappier, so that is actually what we are going to play around with. So while that's downloading, make sure that you actually have a USB stick ready. And I have my 32 gigabyte USB stick right here. So I will be right back to you guys once this is done downloading and we are ready to flash it onto a USB stick. So now what you are going to need is you are going to need a software called Rufus. Rufus will allow us to flash this ameliorated edition ISO 
onto the USB stick and make it flashable. So right here you click select, uh, you want to find the file that we just downloaded, click on the ISO right here and you see it creates this. You make sure that you are on the correct version for yourself. I'm on UEFI. If you are on legacy or CSM, you want to click MBR, but I am on UEFI and make sure I have the correct USB stick selected. Just click start. Now it's going to say everything will be wiped. We're perfectly fine with that because this USB stick needs to get wiped anyway. So that is going to get formatted now. This is going to get flashed and I will be right back to you guys once this has completed creating our USB stick. So the USB stick has finished flashing and it says you have created a media that uses UEFI NTFS bootloader. Please remember that to boot this media, you must disable secure boot. And to disable secure boot, you do that in the BIOS. It's different on every computer, so I can't exactly show you how to do it. But once you go into the BIOS settings, it should be right there. It shouldn't be too hard to find and you can search it up for your specific computer. So I'm gonna boot this one up and I'm gonna start spamming F12 because that is the boot key, hopefully to get into the boot menu for me. It's not. It's usually F12, but on laptops, it tends to be different. On HP, I believe it's F9, uh, but usually it's F12. There we go. FN and F12 worked. Sometimes it's FN and F12. So I have UEFI enabled. So if I go into EFI, USB stick, sand disk, and press enter, as you can see right here, it's now booting into the Windows 10 Ameliorated Edition installer. So I'm really interested to see what this looks like, really interested to see whether this is going to look any different whatsoever to the current Windows install that we have. Currently, it just looks the same uh, with the dots at the bottom and everything, but I guess that is all to be found out. Here we are. Okay, that looks pretty damn similar. So I'm just gonna click next. Uh, install now, setup is starting. Okay, it still asks you for a product key during the Windows install. I mean, I think there's no way to actually remove this. I think the actual changes are going to be in the system. I accept the license agreement. Custom, I'm going to remove all the partitions we currently have on the laptop, which is the decrapified Windows edition. What I did notice, however, is it didn't ask me what Windows version I wanted to install. So I'm interested in what version this will be or whether it's it's whole new, uh, version. So as you can see right here, this is going to take a while to install. So again, I will be back to you guys once this has successfully completed installing. Also, if you are enjoying the video so far, a sub to the channel would be great. It doesn't cost you anything. And if you guys want to support future videos, we have a Patreon down in the description below. Okay, the laptop has successfully turned on and I'm just looking for the username and password on the Telegram right here. And the username seems to be user and the password seems to be Malt. So M-A-L-T-E. And putting that in, we now enter the laptop itself. So I'm gonna unplug the USB stick here so that I can show you guys exactly what this looks like. It just asks you straight up for a login. There is no setting it up, nothing like that. Is that Linus? I, who is that on the wallpaper? And this is the wallpaper we're greeted with. I thought Linus had set that up himself, but clearly I was wrong about that. And I can see here straight up, we have Firefox again, no Microsoft Edge, but I'm really fast going to download OBS so that I can show you guys exactly what's happening here. So let's try connecting to the internet. I'm really interested on whether this is actually going to work. It should, but it should show up that it's not connected to the internet. So I'm going to put in my internet password right here. And let's see. Yes, we are, as a matter of fact, connected to the internet. And it is even showing up that we are connected to the internet. We have DuckDuckGo as the default search engine, not Google. So that seems to be something that is set up by default. I am now recording on Windows 10 Ameliorated Edition. So you guys should now be able to see exactly what I can see. As you can see, the taskbar is super empty. There is no Microsoft Store, no Windows Mail, no, none of that stuff. And as you can see, when I click on the start menu, number one, it opens up instantly. There's no waiting. That is how fast it is. And number two, we are using classic shell. And there are a few shortcomings, like Linus said in his video, in regards to the search bar, where Anthony explained that a lot better than I would ever explain it. So if you guys want to watch that video, go ahead. It is down in the description below. But as you can see here, going into explorer.exe, we see that we are using Old Explorer, which is kind of a version comparing to Windows 7, if you guys remember that, because the search functions were broken with Ameliorated Edition in the new Explorer for Windows 10. So this is instantly a lot snappier, a lot faster. We can see that OBS is using pretty much the entirety of the CPU usage, meaning that if OBS was off, we would be pretty much flat ground with the 
CPU usage and it would work really, really well. As you can see, I'm connected to Wi-Fi. There seems to be a gap here and another gap here, which is pretty confusing. I don't know what those gaps are for, but you see, we don't have Edge anymore, so we have Firefox instead. We also have Mozilla Thunderbird pre-installed and VLC Media Player pre-installed because, of course, there is no Windows software for playing videos anymore. So, opening up Mozilla Firefox, you can see here that we have DuckDuckGo. And going on to YouTube.com, let's see if we can play a YouTube video. Again, this is something that I tried when we decrapified Windows because of just a bunch of different things that didn't want to work with this laptop before it was decrapified and before it was ameliorated. I'm just going to enter any YouTube video that appears here on the front page and we're going to try play it. Look at that. It's playing YouTube. I mean, yeah, it played YouTube on the decrapified version, but this is amazing. So if you guys want to get rid of all the bullcrap that comes with Windows, if you want to stop Windows from phoning home, sending all your information to Microsoft, if you don't care about Windows updates and you are willing to miss out on those Microsoft only features like Windows Store, Windows Mail, etc., then this might really be worth a try. Again, I wouldn't use this on your main PC unless your main PC is like really bad because of those security features in Windows Update. But while I was installing OBS there, it did ask me for the administrator password, so I was clearly right at least in some regards, when saying that you are not the administrator, meaning you need the administrator password every time you want to do something. So, I mean, that's that. It was pretty simple to install, pretty fun thing to play around with, and seeing how well this works, this is exactly what's going to stay on this laptop. Honestly, I'm probably going to start using this laptop for a few things now. So, I'm happy to call this a success. We successfully installed Windows 10 Ameliorate Edition and speeded up this old laptop here with an AMD A9 7th Gen CPU. And uh, yeah, if you guys liked today's video, make sure to give it a like. If you guys disliked it, dislike it. Please tell me why down in the comment section below. If you guys want to join the community, we have a Discord down in the description below. We have a Reddit down in the description below. If you guys want to support the channel, we also have a Patreon now. So. I appreciate every single one of you that decide to donate through the Patreon. You allow me to continue doing what I do and what I love and creating content for you guys. But if you guys want to be notified of future content, I upload tech videos daily and VR videos on Mondays and Fridays. So make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace.